hey, hey, hey guys, how's it going? I hope all of you are doing great today. Check it out guys, today we are hauling out this mountain and turning it into an epic base for your survival world. And once we're done, we'll slap down a fishbowl, cause why not guys? <laughs> I hope you're excited for this one and I hope you're ready. And if you're not, you know what to do. Grab your popcorn and grab your favorite designated beverage. And I guess let's get this time lapse started. Guys, back at it again with another base build. So I was flying around in a creative world, like I usually do when I'm trying to gather ideas, and I saw this really cool rock cliff sticking out of the sea just off the shore of an extreme hills biome. And naturally I thought, how cool would it be to build a base there? So I did. I've been doing a lot of work on the legacy server, so it was a lot of fun working on something else for a change. You know, just relaxing and building a cool creative build for you guys to see. So I started off with a landing pad for anyone who arrives with an elytra. I thought this was a nice addition to the base, but if you want to turn this into a starter base, you know, something more simpler, honestly, you can just add some stairs leading down to the water from that platform and build a small dock there for a boat or even a bridge if you want to do that. Then you'll have a great way to get in and out of the base if you don't have an elytra right now. I believe that this base can actually be the perfect starter base for you guys. This wasn't really my intention when I started on this project, but the location is just ideal here. You're off the shore, so lighting up the area and making it moth proof shouldn't be much of a problem, and you still have the advantage of digging into a mountain to build a base inside, you know, to save some resources. And of course it looks cool guys. <laughs> I kept the inside of the base relatively simple because I wanted the cave to be the main focal point of the build. I wanted the entire base to be an experience when you go inside. You can enter right at the bottom, walk through some tunnels, swing around the side of the cliff, and at every level I wanted a viewing platform so that you can see your surroundings when you walk outside and, you know, just want to have a stroll and see what's going on. But I also didn't want the platforms to be just plain old platforms. I wanted to add some functionality to them. So what I did was add an enchanting setup to the first one and a pool to the other one. The setup is pretty self-explanatory. You know, there's some bookshelves surrounding an enchanting table and I also built a little, you know, shade thing so it keeps the shade. <laughs> but a bunch of you are probably wondering, Archie, for what on earth do I need a pool when I play Minecraft? Well, guys, do you really need a reason for anything? Isn't it just better having a pool instead of needing it? And I can promise you guys, you won't regret it. Just load up the world, invite that special other person in your life, and sip on some honey while watching the sunset. Life couldn't be better, guys, trust me. <laughs> Once we were done with the first floor, it was time to move on to the bedroom. That's right, you can see where I'm going with this. <laughs> oh god. What I wanted to do here was, again, keep the area nice and open so that you have a great view of the ocean around you. I placed the bed outside on the platform and decided to cover it again with a structure to, pr to provide some shade. And honestly, I think it just creates the perfect atmosphere when you're all the way at the top of the base, you know, just watching the sunset and enjoying yourself. <laughs> And that's pretty much it guys, that's right. <laughs> we threw down a fishbowl right at the end because honestly, I felt like it guys, why not? I think it's also a great way to look at our water to see what's going on out there. You know, if you want to spin this idea a little further, you can add a tunnel leading down from the base all the way underwater. And you know, just place down a conduit, build some things down there and make it look really sweet guys. I think there's a lot of potential here that you can definitely harness and build upon. But you know what guys, get creative and I'm sure you'll come up with some awesome designs. All right guys, if you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button and leave your feedback in the comment section. It's always great to see and of course read what you guys are thinking and what you guys would build if you were gonna be building a base like this. However guys, that's gonna be it for me. So I'll let you guys sit back, relax and enjoy the rest of the time-lapse. <laughs> 